You pulled off one of the most miraculous uh, matchups in in recent Australian MMA history by getting George Sotiropoulos, the former UFC veteran. He was like the face of Australian MMA for a while. How on earth did you pull him out of retirement at 45 to take on a killer in Josh Togo? Please explain to me, like, did you buy him a castle? <laughs> Look, George actually came, came to us. Um, we... We've always been interested in in having George back on. As you mentioned, he's he was one of the pioneers of Australian MMA. He's you know he he probably should have been a, a lightweight champion in the UFC. He was pretty stiff to not get a a title shot after going seven and zero in there. Um, but he he actually we we just been speaking to him a little bit, and then he came to us and he said, you know, I want to I want to jump back in there. Um, we ran through some options with him, and he was really excited about the the Josh Togo fight and. As you know, Josh is probably the the scariest lightweight um, in the country right now, and um, yeah, George was like, "Yep, yeah, let's do it." He's keen, so it's going to be a cracking fight. You know, I'm, I'm I've watched George um, in the gym a few times over the last few weeks, and he looks really sharp. His his ground game's better than ever. He's still been actively competing in jits comps, um, and he's striking as well. It's real crisp, real clean, and he he doesn't look a day over thirty. So is this so you're saying this isn't a money fight. He's he wants to come back and compete more than more than just this one fight. I'd expect so. That's another one where we need to wait and see how the fight plays out. But George is he's not just coming back for a payday. He wants to. He really wants to compete, get back in there, and, and I guess put his his skills to the test.